Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today, today, as you know it already, we're going to be watching more scary videos because I like getting, I like getting scared, okay? So let's watch another video. Come on, let's do it. So today we're going to watch Sir Spook's top five scary videos that will disturb you. Disturb you. Okay, disturb. Come on. Sir Spooks. Hello everyone, my uh, name is Sir Spooks. Hello. Today we'll take a look at five scary videos. Hi. But before we begin, make okay. sure to subscribe to my yes. channel so you don't miss any. Please subscribe to me as well, thank you. Alright, let's begin. Subscribe and like and everything else on top. Cherries. This first video was published to the highly popular High Strange okay. subreddit. UFO is one big collection of all crypto zoology. Crypto zoology is that like UFOs, ancient cultures, board apes, stuff like that, anomalies, and other cryptocurrency. Things. Not funny. The huh, video whatever. in question is an old and okay. grainy video filmed all the way back in 2002. That's just a seemingly showcases some sort of dreidel on a unidentified flying object fishing line around this particular area. So mesmerizing. I'm just mesmerized by that. Oh, that was stock footage. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Looks weird. Looks like it's spinning. Oh, can okay, you tell I got the sniffles? Got the little runny nose. Okay. I'm not disturbed. The nearly two minute video documents this incredibly mysterious round object floating around slowly but surely before it eventually and abruptly ends, leaving us all to wonder what exactly we just watched. Many I've, got, I've got nothing on this one. Uh, what, what, what is going on here? Do you have any idea? It just looks insane. Looks like somebody's got a laser pen and they're just drawing in the sky or something. I, I no idea. No idea. Let's continue. Have mentioned how authentic this particular video feels, believing that this videographer actually managed to capture genuine footage of a real-life UFO Ooh. in broad daylight. They're out there. Others have called it a hoax, stating that what we're seeing is actually a ball hanging on a horizontal string or fishing line. But what? Hey, do you I, 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 I said that. I, I, I was talking about fishing lines. It's like we're energetically aligned or something, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you think, is this an actual UFO sighting? Is this bizarre sphere something else entirely? I, ho I hope it's real, you know. Let's get some aliens up in here. You know, we've got too many of the same people around here. We need to add, add, add in some new stuff, you know, mix it up. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We, we need like a uh, Deus Ex in here. We need some cybernetics. These aliens are going to help us get like robotic arms. And we're going to we're going to be able to like swing like Spider-Man with like cable grips coming out like just cause shooting and flying across the cityscapes. That's what we need. Yes. Aliens. Come on. Ew, nice merch. Okay, good. Number four. What we got? What we got here? A Reddit user named Additional Arm sixty three sixty two. Additional arms. Oh ho ho. Okay. I wonder what he needs those for. Uploaded this mysterious and eerie. Could be a Hindu god or something. Video to the aforementioned high strangeness subreddit. I'm Hindu, by the way, so don't you know take that out of context. That showcases a piece of home surveillance camera footage taken on March 22nd, 2021 at 9.22 p.m. 
glance at the video, you won't be able to notice anything out of the ordinary. Okay. It simply looks as if you're looking at an ordinary neighborhood in the middle of the night. Right. But all being as quiet as a mouse. Okay. However, the seemingly innocent and easygoing nature of the video is just about to take a huge turn. Right. Okay. Lights out. Oh, what? Me? Eh? Hmm? Huh? All of a sudden, without warning, the street lamp turns out before a weird figure appears and starts to float around the area, before eventually disappearing into thin air. That is weird. It is worth noting that because of the strange shape of this particular entity, it could very well be a bug on the lens. But okay. the timing of the light going out and this strange oh, thing appearing it is possible. at the same time is quite fascinating and interesting to ponder. Mm. What do you think? Do you think this was some strange, otherworldly visitor? Was it a bug? Or was this whole thing faked in order to get some easy views? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That, that is the possibilities. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> oh, is are okay. Jimmy B Trail Cams is a YouTuber who started uploading videos just four months ago, typically consisting of him venturing out to different trails and documenting his findings. Okay. But by taking a quick look at his uploads, man, those are some nice woods. None of them are outright scary. Ooh, I like to go fishing over there. Especially if you're into wildlife and nature. Mm -hmm. However, one particular video that he uploaded recently stands out like a sore thumb amongst the crowd of his other more innocent videos. The following video was filmed by Jimmy and Birch. <laughs> My nose. It's all of a sudden decided to play up on me. Ugh, I feel like I'm gonna be having a waterfall gushing out of my nose in a sec. Mmm. <laughs> Massage that. Anyway. Back to it. Whatcom County, Washington, in April of 2021 at around 9 p.m. The video starts off simple enough. I, I love these kind of woods. I don't know why. Tall trees, conifers, dense forests, forests with like mossy stone covered, stones covered with moss and, you know, down trees and coolness dampness in the air it's just like i don't know something magical about it also i love camping who, who doesn't love camping if you love camping give me a like please give me a like enough as we look at a couple of trees in the distance okay the atmosphere is certainly a bit creepy but nothing overtly scary happens that is until a massive and extremely tall entity Ooh. proceeds to walk through the woods before eventually disappearing from really you. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, question marks, that's right. Although the quality of the video is a bit blurry and pixelated, if you look closely, you can see that the creature is very tall and looks to be quite hairy which is making some people believe that the figure caught on camera in this video is none other than Bigfoot himself. Nah. Whether actually is the elusive creature has yet to be determined. But all signs... No way. To it. Bigfoot or something else, this is definitely something you wouldn't want to see if you were walking through the woods. You know who it looks like? It looks like Snake from the MGS series, Metal Gear Solid. Snake! Impressive Snake. That guy... It's definitely not Bigfoot. I, initially, I thought the trees were so massive. Like, they were tall trees. And when the guy came into me, I was like, oh my god, that dude's a giant. It's not. Those are just like some standard sort of like branches and stuff. Like small trees coming out. It's just a normal sized guy. I think it looks like he's wearing like a ghillie suit or some sort of like camo. And the sort of black and white stuff, cam, uh, you know, the glare of the camera is just making him shine and look maybe hairy. I don't know. To me, it looks like he's just wearing camo of some sort. Hiding out. Interesting. He's probably on a hunt. Hunt for Bigfoot. 
This next video was published Tedrope. to TikTok by a user named Chi Drobe. He was driving around outside on his motorcycle when he thought he saw someone suspicious in a nearby abandoned house. Okay. He then did something that many of us would not have the bravery to do. I he would. to help and investigate the eerie I'll go right in there. Throughout the remainder of the video, the man... Oh my god, look away kids. Okay, look area, back. But is ultimately unable to find anyone or anything. Okay. He eventually leaves and all is well. However, little did this TikTok user know at the time that he actually did manage to capture something on Ooh, video that day. Wonder what he saw. He was not mm. so alone after all. Okay. Oh oh, I think I saw it. Just looked like a guy on a bike. If you pause right around the 1:14 minute mark, you can clearly see someone or something moving away from view. Perhaps trying to hide. It's a road. Did not get caught. People are just going Surely, past. When the TikTok user saw this later, he must have been incredibly spooked, realizing that it looked like it looks like two people had, sat on a bike. Very well, have been watching us. Come on. But I think it's like a really good site for like you know paintballing or something. Just uh, get in there, sneak around corners. Ah. Got you with the paint gun. Yeah, definitely. There's a guy, two guys on a bike. Come on. This is weak, weak sauce. The reach, the reaching. This final intro okay. is a hard haunted house exploration video filmed in Japan. Uh, is it gonna be uh, the grudge, you know, lady thing? With the squid like tendrils. Oh, yeah. Uploaded to YouTube on January 1st, 2021. The house that the uploader in question is exploring was built by a family of three. Fix your, fix your thingy years. rate, refresh rate. One day, Come on. The entire family went missing. Seemingly without a trace. Why does this happen so much in Japan? I'm sure I've heard the same story a million times now. The or do do people just have the same script and they just use it for any kind of ghost horror exploration? I don't know. The owner wanted to sell the house. It was vacant, but the owner felt a strange presence somewhere in the house. Okay. Now the channel owners are told that they have to close all doors after they open and go through them. So with that backstory mm. out of the way, let's take a look at these two videos. At one point in the video, the channel owner... Oh my god, this looks like there's somebody standing behind him. Oh, it's just shadows. ...open a door that leads them to quite a terrifying discovery. This is like the basis of, like, standard horror games. They give you rules. Uh-oh. Wow. Oh my god. Vito. About ten minutes later. A video that was recorded by the new oh my God. while he was inspecting the house begins to play. And in addition, we are shown yet another chilling piece of footage that further cements just how haunted this house truly is. That is creepy. Did you guys see the feet? Oh my God. Ah, ah. In the second part of this exploration, I hate jump scares. Continuing on with the investigation of this haunted house, which proves to be even more haunted than their wildest dreams could have ever imagined. At one point in the video, while exploring a dirty, messy, and eerie kitchen, the man recording me. It's, it's kind of creepy. This guy is like going in this house and just. You know, looking at people's like personal effects, like looking at people's pictures. They don't know who they are. I know they're blaring it out, but these guys are looking at it. It's a bit, it's so weird. 
Why isn't the house cleared out after selling it? Like, why is everything still left the way it is? Creepy. Immediately hear something rather startling from a distance that creeps him. Ah. Ah. Ah, yeah, mother. I keep closing my eyes. I'm such a scary cat. Next, that is easily the most frightening discovery. Oh my god. The man recording hears the ringing sound of a standing doorbell, and as he turns around, he sees something rather horrifying that will surely give him nightmares for the rest of his and life. And me. Okay. Hi. I need to prepare for this. Oh my god. I've closed my eyes at this video. This number is definitely worth the number one spot. It's the most scariest thing I've seen on this video. Oh my god, why do I keep getting scared? Okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay, you can do this. Okay, I believe in you. You can do this. Yeah, it's so scary. Yeah, don't get scared, okay? Don't get scared. Keep watching. Give me a like, okay? Bye. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. That face or something. There's someone. Oh, there's someone behind there. Was that a face? Eventually, yeah. The men end the investigation and the video ends. Okay. Which was certainly for the best. Oh my god. If these channel owners had stayed any longer, there's truly no telling exactly what could have happened to them. Well, if it, at least there wasn't long hair and, and was stuff. Five scary videos. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I did. Then subscribe for more scary content. Yes. Please subscribe to Sir Scoops and Spook Scoops. Sir Scoops. Sir Spooks. And of course, subscribe to me, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate people watching. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye bye.